Hey fellas, here we are back in Pokemon Masters for the showcase of a 3 out of 5 6 star EX, EX rolled, Cygna Sulir, and Golden Go. Yes, Mr. Money is power himself. And well, he translates that pretty fucking well because he definitely makes makes it pretty clear that money is power. Um, he's strong. This guy is crazy. Um, where, where do I even begin? So, of course, this is, quote, max investment. Obviously not 5 out of 5, obviously not level 150, but basically, you know, max investment, pretty much. Like, 90% of the way there, basically. And this guy's got a lot of great abilities. He's a sprint sync pair, and he's got a good sync countdown. I honestly, like, figured it would not be that great, considering his only real method of sync countdown is from this passive of using trainer moves, and also the minus 3 from the sync move effect. But honestly, it's a lot better than what I figured it would be. So, I'm honestly not that upset. Um, he <laughs> With the grid that I've run for this entire video, I've literally... Okay, I changed... Actually, I, I did change it um, once, but I, I think so anyway. But this is the grid that I pretty much run always. He's got brain power up here alongside Sync Burst, uh, and then the circle extension in the circle uh, team power up i don't know what you want to call it but either way he's got that stuff which is powering up sync moves it's powering up his um or applying the circle more and that's pretty much what you want what you want him to do he applies the circle which is not only giving him buffs but it's also giving the team buffs and that's kind of one thing i think should be really focused on with Lear is making sure that circle is up you know during the big crucial moments of a fight and obviously again other than that he's got a lot of good damage with make it rain and his buddy move make it rain one thing that I wanted to highlight before we actually get into, you know, the specificities of the showcase is that this patent, not this passive, Royal Fortune, powering up moves and same moves of all allied sync pairs. I thought this would be 20%, because support passives like, the th like this, they tend to be 20%, and then he's going to have another 20% in the grid. A 40% support, pretty much, is already really good. As it turns out, this passive is 40% support by itself, 40% extra damage on ally moves and sync moves, of course, you know, including his own. And then again, in the grid, he's got the same node, but for 20%. This means instead of what I thought would have been 40%, he gives off 60% move and sync move support from just those two passives. That does not include the circle nor the master passive. Yeah. This guy's supportive ability is nuts on top of the damage that he can do. And I'm going to go ahead and prove that by, by hopping into these battles. Let's go ahead, see what Lear's got. That, I, this is why I threw out a 5 him instead of just waiting. I, I wanted to skip out. Uh, I wanted to skip, you know, the, the lower tier steps. And I just wanted to see what this guy's got. Because he is really good. The support is cracked, and I love it so much. Alright, so this battle is... Probably one that frankly shouldn't really exist because this is just overkill. Like, there was no reason for Glacia to have to go through this. This is max HP, but it really doesn't feel like it. I don't even have to explain. We got Steven's passive fully activated, his Arc Fair passive with Steel types. We're gonna have rebuff, of course, as well. <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna get the, the support EX on top of the extra rebuff, we're gonna get the steel zone from Lily, this, the few special defense debuffs here from Steven as well. Uh, I know people love seeing this type of, these type of battles and whatnot, right, where you're gonna be looking at, like, the big strong stuff, just in a, I don't know, stupid, I guess a stupidly easy stage, right, like, Champion Stadium, people like seeing it, so I just... I figured why not. I didn't think it would be this, this stupid. <laughs> Here's Lear with plus one special moves up next. Steel zone, uh, no steel zone, actually. Where's my steel zone? Okay, whatever, it doesn't even matter. The circle, and, well, yeah. I guess I may have accidentally chosen the weather terrain zone parameter instead. Okay, whatever, I don't really care. That's fine. Yeah, okay, I accidentally selected that. That was not my intention, but that, that, that's... Fine. You know, a good 90,000 damage buddy move there with one special moves next. Again, not even rebuff. That would have been 100,000 damage across pretty much the entire board if that was under Steel Zone. So clearly he's got multipliers, right? And that's without even having Furious Brain either. That was his Sync Nuke grid. If I would have built for Furious Brain, then he would have actually done far more than that. Uh, so clearly not a character who's going to struggle against Steel Week content. The Steel type has been buffed so much from this anniversary with Lily, Rose, and Death, obviously Steven, right? So there was the one, there was the battle for those who just want to see big Oonga Boonga numbers. Let's go on to some uh, other battles. All right, so here's the extreme battle versus the Gower trio, the new regional based 
event not even new anymore it leaves actually in like two days i should be probably finishing it up but i'm not anyway so where i pulled um a few copies of rachel and sawyer i ended up just pairing them up with lear you know figure me as well this would be a pretty good time to showcase them with lear right because that is the intent is to get these characters run them with lear you know whatever right well it also showcases again not only the synergy of course which is the intention but the sync countdown lear not lear well i guess lear but um sawyer and rachel both have a passive that allow that gives them minus one sync countdown and entry on top of plus one physical and special moves next to all allies so lear's already getting a ton of physical moves and special moves next but he's also able to lower sync countdown when using his trainer move and applying his circle so he's able to get the sync countdown from that on top of the buffs being able to max his offenses to apply the defensive circle uh and get the special moves next and all that from, from that right so we've got a ton of sync countdown right like we're already at our second sync move and they've got minus three sync countdown Pretty crazy, especially considering uh, Rachel and Zawyer's flinching as well, turn denial. Combine that with sync acceleration, you've got yourself something that's pretty strong. And obviously the damage is nuts too, right? Like, the, da the damage is really good. <laughs> we're able to get a bunch of debuffs in. Again, we're at, like, what, plus five special moves next here. That's pretty good. <laughs> I went ahead and tried to turn deny the Zapdos here with the buddy move, and it works out. 35,000 damage across the board, by the way. No steel zone, nothing like that. Does have special moves next, of course, but other than that, nothing crazy. Uh, we are maxing out the circle of buffs as well because these are all, uh, you know, triple passive characters. <laughs> oh, brother. So, of course, with Lear's buddy move, not only is it a nuclear weapon because it's, you know, split, it's not split damage, it's like 300 power, yada yada, but it also debuffs enemy special defense by three, and it gives the whole team free moves next. So, there's some good gauge efficiency purposes there. <laughs> so, yeah, um, on top of having his two multipliers, right, with having the circle activated and brain power, that's 200% multipliers off of his 500. Like 550 some special attack stat, which is a little good, obviously, just just a little bit good. <laughs> Duh. Lear's able to do 27,000 damage there, bring Marnie to Endurance, max out the special defense debuffs, and Sawyer is able to finish it off there from, again, being at Endurance. Yeah. <laughs> obviously, these two work together with Lear, but of course, Lear was the big, uh, fun, the big one there. But the sync countdown from all of them mattered, right? Like, the sync countdown that Lear can apply as a sprint is pretty damn solid. Uh, and of course, the damage is the big part, right? He's... It's as it, it's like Ray if you replaced Ray's flinches with more debuffs. That's kind of the whole... That's kind of what I would say is about accurate with... Actually, mostly just his buddy move, honestly. If you replaced uh, Ray's... If you replaced... um race flinches with a lot of support that's probably more accurate to how lear functions and that's obviously really good being a master for a character he's able to empower a ton of other characters and not just be a big oonga boonga damage dealer which he's still good at that role too no worries and i guess going off that prior comment this would be probably a better battle to showcase that supportive ability because lear's support boosts lily's damage mostly her sink nuke quite a lot for being a free character against uh, this is the newest ultimate battle of course versus An uh, not annabelle uh, evelyn she does need debuffs and all of that which we're able to apply pretty well because of steven and what's her face lily and lear of course with his special defense debuffs all oh, that's nice but point being oh here's just a little good Lear's a little bit good for this battle just because of his damage right like obviously he benefits from arc steven directly from the steel rebuff and whatnot arc steve Ar he it's it's similar to that to like Ash and Red being as good as they are, not only because they are naturally super good, but also because they benefit off of what was, you know, what was, or you could still say it is the best support in the game between Neo Champion, you know, Neo Champion Blue, right? Lear's in a similar spot where he's directly benefiting a ton from the existence of Arcee Steven. Again, Arcee Steven being an amazing sustained character on top of the you know, rebuff um, and like seeing moves next buffs and whatever else he's able to apply, debuffs as well, all of that. He, uh, the only problem with Lear is that he is a special attacker, so he does not benefit at all from the physical moves next buffs, which, if he did, that would make the synergy even better, right? But I, I'd say at that instance, it's very similar to the type of synergy between, uh, like, probably um, Thunderbolt Red and Champion Blue, where, of course, Red doesn't benefit from Blue's special moves next buffs, which is not really even the point of that character anyway, but still, right? Like you're able to benefit uh so much even though the offensive enhancement that that character is able to apply isn't directly what you're looking for it's just that everything else is so good about them right which uh the offensive enhancement that steven can provide in the form of rebuff is directly helpful to lear and look at the damage we're doing like this is all really really solid damage for <laughs> he's who's just pretty much spamming out moves like left and right like of course we do get special moves up next here and there from the, the circle right but other than that like we're not really getting that much. We're just getting, we're just popping out, you know, 15, 20,000 
single uh, regular damaging moves and then 50,000 damage buddy moves, which we're getting every single sync cycle. And those sync, you know, those sync moves are popping up, you know, how much damage, right? A good lot, honestly. And then, of course, because of the circle, we're able to survive the sync move relatively well, right? We do have the circle damage reduction there, and uh, Stevens as well, it does help out too. Or, do their passes actually help out with sync damage reduction? I don't actually remember. I'd have to think about it. Anyway, whatever. There's Lear's sync. 130,000 on the size is a little good, obviously. We can get turn denial on the Dragapult here as well, which is very helpful. The only problem with this is that we do end up uh, losing the steel zone here towards the end. So most of the damage that you see that's about, like, the best damage from Lear is probably going to be more towards the middle. Like, probably around before he used that final sync move, right, with, like, the buddy move hitting as hard as it did. That's probably about what you're probably going to be expecting. Anyway... So, yeah, the damage Lear can do is great. The sync countdown was great, right? We've gotten how many sync moves already? I think this is our fourth sync move, and Evelyn has only used one. That's obviously pretty good, right? That's five sync buffs. Uh, and again, the damage that Lily had from... I forget how much her sync actually ended up doing, but did it not do a lot? It did quite a lot for being only the second sync move in the battle, for sure. Because That's because of that 60% support that Lear is able to provide, on top of the buff that the circle already provides... And, um, not the master passive, because that only powers up regular moves, not sync moves, but still, right? The circle combined with the two passives that are directly enhancing sync damage is so good for so many characters. Just pretty much put him with any other character that has a better nuke than him, which, you know, mostly any, like, tech nuker, they're gonna be getting a massive, massive power buff from that. And, of course, Lear's nuke on his own is also really, really good naturally, right? Like, he was doing very, very solid AoE damage. Not akin to that of, like, Champion Red or Arxus. Cynthia, but still very, very good for the type of character that he is. Very, very serviceable at the very least. Very strong, and again, that support is absolutely nuts. Alright, so here in this battle, I wanted to see pretty much what Lear could do to empower another character that kind of synergized a bit with him, in this case, Fall Gardenia, um, with just, like, his different buffs and whatnot, right? But this actually ended up mostly just being Lear destroying the stage himself towards the end. <laughs> I wanted to see what Gardenia could do, because she's able to debuff special defense, which helps out both Lear and herself. She's able to uh, set steel zone, and then she can do flash cannon damage, and I kind of wanted to look at that. I wanted to see, like, what she could do if she's, like, trying to enhance Lear, and also just act as a secondary damage dealer, because, again, she's getting a lot of support from the master passive circle and the passives that Lear has to able to you know, apply that support. So I was mostly, like, okay, what can she end up doing with that flash cannon as, like, a, quote, you know, secondary DPS or something along those lines. So I brought, I could Lodge Lance for fun, pretty much, just as a support that can buff special moves next. We've got Gardenia with, this will be plus eight special moves next, actually, because Lance does have the, um, special boost on sync, and then Lear's gonna be setting up the Pasio Solidarity Circle. Actually, this might be nine, because I think I may have picked up another node. Uh, yeah, plus nine special moves next on flash cannon, 14,000 damage. Frankly, not that great, but that's also because uh, Gardenia has literally no multipliers. I do actually have her 2 out of 5, and she does get metallic, some metallic power up at, for like 30% damage. But Lyra, they're kind of stealing the show towards the end there. <laughs> yeah, uh, they, these stages don't last long enough for him to be able to really uh, showcase the support for other characters, other lower tier characters. It's like, if you're going to bring Lyra to empower lower tier characters... For one, have him probably be at 1 out of 5, because his damage ceiling is going to be at a lot lower, and he's still going to be able to apply, like, 40% support off the passive, and then, the, again, the circle and master passive. Um, and for two, kind of just build around the fact that he's going to be doing a shitload of damage anyway, so... <laughs> yeah, I wanted to try and showcase him a bit with Gardenia and see, like, how well she could perform, but she mostly <laughs> ended up just performing about fine, but Lear just stole everything towards the end there with that nuclear buddy move. So, yeah. Again, he does function very similar to those characters like Champion Silver, Ray, um, who's got Champion Marnie, right? Those type of characters that have those, like, once per sync cycle buddy moves. And it works very well, obviously. Like, it's got the debuffs instead of a flinch, which you can say is better, you can say it's worse. It really just depends, I guess, kind of how you, like, what you want. Because AoE debuffs is still really good, right? But... It really just depends there. It does call, kind of also overlap a little bit because his best partner is obviously Arxu Steven, who is able to apply those debuffs by himself. But, you know, who's going to complain about faster debuffs, I guess? Anyway, whatever. 
<laughs> his ability to not really care about split damage is also very good because he's got the single the AoE um regular move with make it rain here, right? Which is again not split damage, or sorry, it is split damage. So being able to have a striker saint move on top of a non-split damage buddy move to get rid of those sides will then directly and you know power up make it rain, allow it to do single target damage, and it will be looking a lot more impressive in its own right. And again, that is you know to not continue to <laughs> wank off the fucking support that he's got otherwise with the circle, the master passive, and the and other passes as well, which he's applying to the whole team. So any character you really bring with him, if you're trying to directly enhance them, they're going to be doing well, but also probably consider Lear's going to probably steal whatever they're trying to do, unless they're like a top-tier nuker. Like, if you want to bring him with someone like maybe Palantine's Marnie or whatever, that could work, right? Like, if you want to really power up Palantine's Marnie, and give her, like, a good sync nuke. She synergizes with Lear because of the steals and whatnot. You can make a good setup out of that, for sure. She's going to be having a far better nuke than what she would be otherwise, especially if she's partnered up with Arsu Steven as your third character. The steal type is just crazy, right? Like, you've got the buffs from Arsu Steven, you've got the buffs from Lear, and then you've got whatever third character you want to hop on that you want to, you know, get buffed from those from those characters. Rose, Poppy, um, Palantine's Marnie, Costume Celine, whoever you want to really pop on, Anniversary Lily, they're all they're getting a massive, massive buff from all of this support, and that just makes pretty much Steel type the best type in the game. <laughs> not the best type in the game, probably not, but like it makes it a super powerful team because it's so it allows for so much synergy between whoever you want to bring, frankly, because Lear and Steven for one cover their own gauges, and Lear covers team gauges with his buddy move. And then you've got your third character who, as long as they are able to be, like, buff, at least, like, the special attack, if they're a special attacker, they're going to be able to be, you know, just fine otherwise. Because Steven can buff crit, he can apply any other enhancement they might need with debuffs. Doesn't really matter. And then again, all the other support and everything that just happens with the, with, with that setup. Steel is, obs Steel is insane. And again, Lear here is able to apply all of those buffs to any other characters. Run them with Pasio characters, run them with Steel characters, run them with any other character you want. They're going to be getting a good enhancement. Effectively that of a weather terrain or zone effect without actually having a weather terrain or zone effect. And of course, being able to stack those on top of it. So yeah. Anyway, that's enough with the showcase. I guess I've talked a little bit too much. I'll see you later. Hope you all enjoyed. Let me know what you think about Cygnus Lear down in the comments below, and I'll see you all later.